busted, guys. Are they planning war? Hmm. A motorcool captures 149 northerners. Trucks loaded with ammunition. See their plans in Yoruba land. It don't happen. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us for the first time, I beg. Subscribe to this channel. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. And apart from that, insecurity is very important. Everybody should be aware of what is going on in Nigeria. So all this kind of news, eh? Not be waiting, you go just you go just see. You keep on to yourself. I beg share. Let Nigerians see the day careful and see they know the the new tactics, strategies these people are now using. Because with the look of things, even according to the federal government, kidnappers, Fulani herdsmen, the armed Fulani herdsmen, they have invaded Nigerian forest. And this is troubling. For the federal government to announce this, that means there is fire on the mountain. They've just peacefully told you that, see, hey, you have to, you know, answer your papa Nemo, because the matter, the matter now, don't even tire they themselves the way it is. I beg, make we see what they happen for Yoruba land and what these people want to do. What are their plans? Why they they are now being seen with ammunition everywhere? Where then they go? What did they want to do? Hmm. In a significant security operation, the Omote Cool Corps in Ondo State intercepted trucks transporting 149 men from the northern part of Nigeria. The interception occurred at a notorious black spot known for kidnapping, banditry, and armed robbery activities within the state. The suspects were found in possession of firearms, cutlass, and bags containing India hemp. The commander, Ade Tonji Adeyeli reviewed this development to journalists in Akure, emphasizing that the arrest stemmed from a tip-off regarding an unusual influence of individuals into the Ondo Forest Reserve. The majority of the, the detainees claimed to be hunters, yet they were apprehended near areas notorious for criminal operations. A day lay ye express be wide at the suspects attempt to conceal their weapons and contraband under their vehicles. He questioned the necessity of clandestine behavior if their intentions were lawful. Underscoring the, the normally of individuals from distant regions purportedly seeking haunting opportunities in, in unfamiliar ter 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 territories. The incident underscores escalating concerns over nationwide insecurity amplified by recent violent incidents in neighboring states such as Ikiti and Kwara. Ade Leyi reiterated that while citizens possess the right to travel freely, they are prohibited from carrying weapons across the state borders. Furthermore, Adele Yi emphasized the importance of compliance with uh, local regulations, particularly regarding hunting activities in forest reserves. He stressed that individuals intending to hunt must register with relevant authorities to ensure accountability and mitigate potential security risk. The commander voiced suspicious regarding the true intentions of the detained individuals, suggesting they may be involved in criminal activities such as kidnapping and harm robbery. He cited compelling evidence linking such activities to travelers originating from the northern regions, particularly in, in remote areas and poorly secured sessions of highways. The interception by the Omatiku Corps underscores the crucial role of 
local security outfit in addressing emerging security threats across Nigeria. It highlights the need for proactive measures to combat criminal activities and safeguard communities, particularly in vulnerable regions, prone to illicit operations. Authorities have commenced investigations into the motives and affiliations of the detained individuals with a focus on dis disrupting potential criminal networks and preventing further escalation of security challenges. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the compli complex security landscape facing Nigeria and the imperative of concerted efforts to ensure public safety and security of all citizens. Nigerians, there is, there is fire on the mountain. Yes, there is fire on the mountain. With the, war, with, with the way the whole thing is going, it's just, it seems that these people have declared war on Nigerians. See, things, they happen. Now, the ones when they, 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 they talk on social media, now they say, what of those, those ones, those areas, when they say they don't fit carry out waiting, they happen. Those ones, they go just happen. They don't just go like that. Every day, kidnappings here and there. This matter don't come off. For be careful, the government have to do something before Nigerians will start defending themselves. And this is the worst part of it, because by then, wahala, good deal. So that is the reason why the government have to be very, very careful. You know, talking about this insecurity issue in the country, it's no longer. It's no longer a joke. This matter don't come off. For be careful. That is the truth. This matter don't come off. For be careful. I beg, make a drop and for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.